Yes, Miss Bell. Captain Hawk admits defeat. Tomorrow, I leave the island, never to return. I'm glad you hear that, Captain. I'll tell the crew and... And that's why I asked you over, me dear, to tell Peter I bear him no ill will. Oh, Pan has his faults, to be sure. Uh, bringing that Wendy to the island, for instance. Dangerous business, that. Why, rumor has it that already she has come between you and Peter. But what's this? Tears? Then it is true. Us, me, the way of a man with a maid, taking the best years of her life and then casting her aside like an old glove. Ain't it a blooming shame? But we mustn't judge Peter too harshly, my dear. It's that Wendy who's to blame. Mr. Smee, we must save the lad from himself. But how? <laughs> it's so little time. We sail in the morning. Sail? That's it, me. We'll Shanghai Wendy. Shanghai Wendy, Captain? Take her to sea with us. With her gone, Peter will soon forget this mad infatuation. Come, me. We must leave immediately. Surround Peter's home. But, Captain, we, we don't know where Peter Pan lives. <laughs> Great Scott, you're right, me. What's that, my dear? You could show us the way? Why, I never thought of that. Take this down, Smee. Take this down, Smee. <laughs> Start at Pig Leg Point. Start at Pig Leg Point. Forty paces west of Blind Man's Bluff. Blind Man's Bluff. Yes, yes. Hop's given to jump across Crocodile Creek. Then, no by no east. One, two, three. Well, get on with Continue, my dear. I mustn't harm Peter. Madam, Captain Hook gives his word not to lay a finger or a hook on Peter Pan. Ah, Hangman's tree. So that's the entrance to his hiding place. Thank you, me dear. You've been most helpful. 